today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically create a preview link of your HTML banners exported from the Bannerify Figma plugin uh, on the Netlify platform, which will let you host it as a URL that you can share around to clients or stakeholders or anyone that you want to share a preview link of your banners with. So to get started, all we need to do is click on the little resources icon in your Figma file. And if you search for Bannerify, so that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, you'll see Bannerify pop up. If you go ahead and click on that result, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or you can click on this little more options icon, which I'd recommend and click on save Figma plugin. And that'll save it to your Figma plugins list for easy access. So if we go to the Figma page, right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to save plugins. You can then click on the Bannerify item and that'll run the plugin that we just set up a second ago. So with this tutorial, I'm not gonna be going through the details of how to create the banners and design them and animate them. There's a separate YouTube tutorial on the channel if you wanna search for that one. Uh, for today, I'm just gonna be assuming that you've already got some banners set up. So I've already got a bunch of banners set up. Each of them just have a few layers of content on them. So I'm just gonna load those into the plugin by clicking on this button here. And that's gonna load in the banners that we've got from Figma. And you can see here that I've already got some basic animations applied. So you can see here, there's some animations on each of the layers and these are all ready to go. So I'm just gonna assume that you've already got your banners ready to export from Figma into HTML. So what we need to do now is follow the steps that you'd usually take. So in this case, we'll click on the export to HTML button and that's gonna open up the normal export panel that you'd see. So in this case, we've got our code export settings so we can decide what platform to export it to. Today, I'm just gonna do HTML, CSS, uh, you can choose different ad platforms like Google Ads, but that's up to you. So I'm just gonna make this uh, Retina Images and leave everything else as is just to keep it really simple. So the thing I'm gonna be focusing on today is showing you how to upload the preview page that always gets included in the Bannerify exports up to Netlify. So if we click on this little checkbox here, the upload preview page URL to Netlify, if you click on that toggle, that's gonna enable this new section that we can paste a Netlify personal access token into. So what you need to do is if you have a Netlify account, just sign into your Netlify account. So if you go to netlify.com and sign into your Netlify account, you can create a free account if you don't have one. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna use my own one. So I've got my Netlify account uh, logged in. And if you click on this link here, the personal access token, it'll take you to this page. So what you need to do is create a new access token. So I'm gonna click on new access token and I'm just gonna call it Bannerify. So I'm just gonna uh, add that in there so I know what this token's being used for. And then I'm gonna click generate token. And that's gonna generate this token here. Uh, you can copy that to your clipboard by clicking on this icon and you can also store it somewhere for later. So you can store it in a password manager or something like that somewhere safe uh, to reuse later if you want because you won't be able to see this code again uh, after you close off this window. So I'm just gonna click on copy and then go back to my Bannerify plugin. So I'm back in my Figma plugin and I'm just gonna paste in that token that we just copied into this personal access token box here. So I'm gonna paste that in. That's gonna load up the Netlify site. So because it's the first time I pasted that in for this page, uh, it's created a Netlify domain for me which I can now change in Netlify if I want to. So by default, this will be the domain name uh, that will be used for your preview page. But if you don't want the one that's automatically generated by Netlify, you can just click on this change site name link here. So if I click on that, that's just gonna open up the uh, Netlify tab for that site. So you can see here, this is the site that we just created via the plugin. And now if we go to the domain settings, you can see down here that we've got our site information and I can click on change site name. So I can click on that and update this. So I'm gonna call it Bannerify Preview Page Demo and click on save. And you can see here that's just changed the name of our site. And if we wanna see that reflected in the plugin, we can just go into the plugin and click on this little refresh icon. And that's just gonna refresh the Netlify site. And you can see here that the page URL has been updated to the one we just changed. So that's all we need to do to set that up. And now because we've still got our upload preview page toggle enabled, when I click on the export banners button, which I'll do now, this is gonna export all of our banners to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, export all the images automatically, uh, everything like that. And once it's finished, it's also gonna upload the preview to Netlify. So that's what it's doing right now. 
And you can see here it's now completed. And this is the normal option that we have whenever we export banners from Bannerify. So we can either download a zip file. So I can click on that, download that to my desktop, for example. And if we open up that zip file, you can see we've got this folder here and we've got this index.html page, which is actually the preview page that we normally get. So if I drop that index file into the browser, you can see here that this is the local copy of our preview page that we normally get. Um, but because we enabled the toggle to also upload this to Netlify, you can see here that we've got our Netlify preview URL showing up as well. So it's telling us that we can uh, check out those on the Netlify preview URL. So if we click on that link, this is gonna automatically load up the URL that we just set up in Netlify. Uh, you can see here the custom page name that we gave it. And you can see here that all of our banners are being loaded in to the preview page. So you could send this link to a client or a stakeholder, someone inside your company or outside, and they can view that uh, link without having to manually open that zip file and load in the preview page uh, by dragging the HTML file in. So it'll just do it all on this page here uh, as a hosted link. Um, there's also a link here to uh, manage the site settings. So if you click on the site settings link, that will automatically open the Netlify panel for that site. So you can see here, we've got the deploy uh, that was just made. So that's all the details about the deployment uh, that was deployed from the Figma upload. And then you can also do things like change the domain settings. You can change uh, site settings, uh, change a whole bunch of uh, different things in here. So you can get pretty advanced with it depending on what you wanna do. But for the most part, you probably just wanna change the site name as we did before. Uh, you can change that again if you need to um, because the site ID itself will stay the same. So even if you change the uh, name of this, it'll basically still link up with the site in Figma. So you can change that name and that will get reflected in Figma, but the link itself will upload, uh, re-upload when you change it from Figma. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to run through that really quickly with you. If you've been wondering how to uh, automatically create these preview pages that are live rather than having to manually upload the exported HTML preview page somewhere, uh, this is a easier way to go about it if you just wanna kind of automate it and use Netlify as the platform to host the preview pages on anyway, uh, which is a really good platform. Uh, one thing to be really uh, mindful of is if you're not seeing some of the images show up, so if you're not seeing uh, any images or any um, elements aren't showing up in the banners on the preview link, uh, it's potentially because you've got an ad blocker turned on. Um, sometimes with these banner ads, when they're being viewed online, uh, the ad blockers can block some of the images or block some of the scripts and cause it not to display. So if you are running into any issues with banners not showing up uh, completely, you might just have to disable the ad blocker that you've got turned on for this URL and then it should be all good to go if you just hit refresh after that. So um, yeah, we'll leave it there for today. I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to create uh, preview pages for your Figma banners, HTML banners that you can share around. Uh, if you're using Netlify or wanna start using Netlify, uh, it's free to sign up just for an account and you can basically uh, drop in that key or that token and start creating preview pages directly from Bannerify uh, in Figma. So um, yeah, thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.